Hello friends, today we are going to see the next unit of our mathematics equation in one variable. In the previous standard, we have studied equation in one variable. The value of variable which satisfies the given equation is called the solution of the equation. Solving an equation means to find the solution of the equation. Some equations obtained by performing the same operation on its both side does not change its solution. Using this property, we obtain a new but simpler equation and solve the given equation. The operation done on both sides of an equation are first to add the same number to the both sides second to subtract the same number from the both side, third to multiply both sides by the same number, fourth to divide both sides by the same non-zero numbers. Let us see some small examples. Fill in the boxes to solve the, solve the following equations. Example number one, x plus four is equal to nine. Here we have to subtract same number from both sides and we get the value of x. If we subtract 4 from both sides, we get x is equal to 5. Equation number, sorry, example number 2, x minus 2 is equal to 7. Here x minus 2 plus box are given is equal to 7 plus 1 box is given. In these two boxes, we have to write plus 2 if we add plus uh, if we add 2 on both side of the equation we get x is equal to 9 equation number example number 3 x upon 3 is equal to 4 x upon 3 into one box is equal to 4 into one box here in this box if we write 3 we get x is equal to 12 Example number 4, 4x is equal to 24, 4x upon box is given is equal to 24 upon one box is given. If we put in the boxes number 4, we get x is equal to 6. That means in this for example, we add same numbers to the equal uh, both side of the equation. We subtract the same number to the both side of the equation we multiply by the same number to the both side of the equation and lastly we multi uh, we divide by same number to the both side of the equation let us learn what is mean by what is the solution of equation in one variable while solving an equation sometime we have to perform many operations on it we will learn how to find the solution of such an equation. Study the following examples. Solve the following equation. Example number 1. 2 into x minus 3 is equal to 3 upon 5 into x plus 4. In the solution multiplying both sides by 5, that is, we get 10 into x minus 3 is equal to 3 into x plus 4. Therefore, 10 x minus 30 <coughs> is equal to 3 x plus 12. Adding, adding 30 to both sides. Therefore, 10 x minus 30 plus 30 is equal to 3 x plus 12 plus 30. We get 10 x is equal to 3x plus 42 subtracting 3x from both sides therefore 10x minus 3x is equal to 3x plus 42 minus 3x therefore we get 7x is equal to 42 and dividing both sides by 7 to the above equation 7x upon 7 is equal to 42 upon 7 and therefore x is equal to 6 this is the solution of the equation then next uh, example 9x minus 4 is equal to 6x plus 29 solution adding 4 to the both side 9x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 6x plus 24 29 plus 4 
9 x is equal to 6 x plus 33 subtracting 6 x from the both side we get 9 x minus 6 x is equal to 6 x plus 33 minus 6 x therefore 3 x is equal to 33 dividing both side by 3 we get 3x upon 3 is equal to 33 upon 3 and therefore x is equal to 11. Example number 3. 2 upon 3 plus 5a is equal to 4. This example we can solve by two methods that is method number 1. 2 upon 3 plus 5a is equal to 4 multiplying each term by 3. 3 into 2 upon 3 plus 3 into 5a is equal to 4 into 3. 2 plus 15a is equal to 12. 15a is equal to 12 minus 2. 15a is equal to 10. a is equal to 10 upon 15. a is equal to 2 upon 3. Method 2. Subtracting 2 upon 3 from both sides. 2 upon 3 plus 5 5a minus 2 upon 3 is equal to 4 minus 2 upon 3. 5a is equal to 12 minus 2 upon 3. Therefore, 5a is equal to 10 upon 3 dividing both sides by 5. 5a upon 5 is equal to 10 upon 3 into 1 upon 5. a is equal to 2 upon 3. This is the two way to solve the given equation. <coughs> if a, B, C, D are non-zero expression such that A upon B is equal to C upon D then multiplying both sides by B into D we get the equation A, D is equal to B, C. Using this we solve some examples. Example number 4 X minus 7 upon X minus 2 is equal to 5 upon 4. X minus 7 upon X minus 2 is equal to 5 upon 4. That is 4 into x minus 7 is equal to 5 into x minus 2 for x minus 78 is equal to 5 x minus 10 for x minus 5 x is equal to minus 10 plus 28 minus x is equal to 18 x is equal to minus 18. 5 8m minus 1 upon 2m plus 3 is equal to 2 8m minus 1 upon 2m plus 3 is equal to 2 upon 1. 1 into 8m minus 1 is equal to 2 into 2m plus 3. 8m minus 1 is equal to 4m plus 6. 8m minus 4m is equal to 6 plus 1. 4m is equal to 7. m is equal to 7 upon 4. Now see what we mean by word problem. Let us learn how the information given in the word problem can be converted into an algebraic expression using variable. See some chart. My age is x year. Then my father's age is 32 years more than my age. Therefore, father's age is x plus 32 years. My grandfather's age is 10 more than 4 times my age is it is for x plus 10 years my sister's age is 4 less than my age sister's age is x minus 4 my mother's age is 3 times my age mother's age is 3x my father's age is 5 more than half of my age my, sorry my friend's age is 5 more than half of my age that is x upon 2 plus 5 <coughs> from the above information find my age if my friend's age is 12 year my age is x year friend's age is x upon 2 plus 5 x upon 2 plus 5 x upon 2 plus 5 is equal to 12 given therefore x plus 10 is equal to 24 multiplying each term by 2 therefore x is equal to 24 minus 10 x is equal to 14 my age is 14 years 
find the age of person from the above information write the correct information in the boxes given length is 3 times the breadth i am rectangle my perimeter is 40 cm the breadth is x perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 40 2 into 1 bracket into x plus 1 bracket into x is equal to 40 2 into 1 bracket into x is equal to 40 therefore x is equal to we can here if we solve this we can calculate the breadth and length of this rectangle solved example some joseph's weight is two times the weight of its younger brother find joseph's weight if sum of their weights is 63 kg let the weight of joseph's younger brother is x kg joseph's weight is two times the weight of his younger brother is equal to x from the given information x plus 2x is equal to 63 Therefore, three x is equal to sixty-three. X is equal to twenty-one. Joseph's weight is equal to two x is equal to two into twenty-one is equal to forty-two kilogram. Second example: the numerator of a fraction is five more than its denominator. If four is added to the numerator and denominator, the fraction obtained is six upon five. find the fraction solution let the denominator of a fraction be x therefore numerator of the fraction is 5 more than denominator means x plus 5 the fraction is x plus 5 upon x if 4 is added to the both numerator and denominator the fraction obtained is 6 upon 5 therefore x plus 5 plus 4 upon x plus 4 is equal to 6 upon 5 therefore x plus 9 upon x plus 4 is equal to 6 upon 5 <coughs> therefore cross multi by cross multiplication 5 into x plus 9 is equal to 6 into x plus 4 therefore 5x plus 45 is equal to 6x plus 24 therefore 45 plus minus 24 is equal to 6x minus 5x therefore 21 is equal to x therefore denominator of a fraction is equal to 21 and the numerator is equal to 21 plus 5 is equal to 26 the fraction is 26 upon 21 ratan has next example ratan has rupees 200 more than 3 times the amount rafiq has if Rupees three hundred from the amount with Ratan are given to Rafi. Amount with Ratan will be seven upon four times the amount with Rafi. Find the initial amount with Rafi. To find the initial amount, complete the following activity. Solution: The amount with Ratan is rupees two hundred more than the three times of the amount with Rafi. Let the initial amount with the Rafi be rupees x. Ratan has x plus two hundred. Therefore, rupees three hundred from the Ratan are given to Rafiq. Remaining amount with Ratan is x plus two hundred minus three hundred. Now Rafiq has x plus three hundred. Now the amount with Ratan is seven upon four times the amount with Rafiq. Therefore, amount with Ratan upon amount with Rafiq. Is equal to seven upon four. Therefore, three x minus hundred upon x plus three hundred is equal to seven upon four. If we solve this equation, we get the initial amount with the rupee, which is zero. In this way, we can solve the equation in one variable. Now you have to complete the practice set. 12.1 and 12.2 in your notebook okay today we stop here